welcome back and if you're new welcome to our channel and I'm Lincoln and this is the hubs Jeremy Hi guys. and today we are going to be doing a get to know me tag so if I'm looking down I'm reading off questions for us to answer for you guys so let's get started number one are you named after anyone no no I don't think so no if I am he was awesome when was the last time you cried? Well, I hit my elbow at work and it hurt really bad. But I made enough to admit that I cried. Today. Today was the last time I cried. I got the sweetest comment. Um, so, yeah, it just warmed my heart and brought tears to my eyes. Do you have kids? Yes. And they are for sale. <laughs> we have three. We have a nine-year-old. A eight year old and a four month old. Mm -hmm. If you were another person, would you be a friend or yourself? I don't understand that one. <laughs> if you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? Oh no. I would not know. I would not be this guy's friend. No. Why not? I just don't like myself. I would be my friend. I'm awesome. <laughs> I mean, I probably would. <laughs> because, like, I don't know. Next question. Okay. Do you use sarcasm <laughs> a lot? <laughs> this is our second language in this house. Mm -hmm. Our kids have picked up on it. We do it so much. So that is a big yes. Sarcasm is my middle name. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty yes. bad sometimes. Um, what's the first thing you notice about people? I the notice breath. I notice people's mouth, their teeth. The breath. That's the first thing. The breath. It smells like wintergreen. <laughs> I'm down. I like wintergreen. All right. What is your eye color? Mine's green. <laughs> what color's mine's? They're blue. Oh. They're like a darker blue. What color is mine? Green. So, scary movie or happy ending? I hate happy endings, so scary movies. He likes tragedy for some odd Disaster. reason. Disaster. Disaster. I like scary movies. But I do like happy ending like love stories. I'm a sucker for that. Favorite smells? Wintergreen. Anything tropical. Um, I love coconuts, pina coladas, stuff like that. So, what's the furthest you've ever been from home? Hmm. Probably Williamsburg. Yeah. For me? Yeah. No. Atlanta. When I went to Atlanta. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? I'm like just Tennessee, and that's what two hours away. Tennessee, not very far. She's still the Tennessee. That's from a boy, Austin. So, do you have any special talents? No. Keep on. I think that is an awesome talent. No, man. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah, I'm not special. You are special, babies. No. Yes, you are. There's nothing special about me. He's I, funny. He's I'm, got a, I'm an ordinary guy. He's funny. I have no talents. He does have talents. I Maybe. have none. He likes to fix things. And That's not a talent. He can build awesome That's no how. And he can build awesome furniture. Okay, yeah, I could build furniture. But that's it. It's yeah. not a talent. Where were you born? In a hospital. We were born, both we were born, right outside of our hometown. In a hospital. In a hospital. Um, what are your hobbies? Woodwork. Couponing. Couponing and family time, strictly. Um, love couponing, love spending time with family, so that's the hobbies. I like nails. Do you have any pets? Yes, my wife. 
I have the pet right here. He's my bearded coupon and machine. Yes, we do have pets. We have a kitty kitty. And his name is Moo. We have a dog. His name's Lou. Our little boy named him. Moo and Lou. Moo and Lou. <laughs> he really did name him. So, do you have any siblings? Yes. No. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> With beard. Well, since I've already grew up, I want to be a couponer, saving money, and I want to be a stay-at-home mom and a really, really amazing wife. So, who was your first best friend? His name was... I have no idea. I don't remember. I, I honestly don't remember. I know I had to be somewhere in kindergarten, but I don't remember. I think mine was invisible. Yeah, he's invisible. He's invisible. He's invisible. Your first friend was invisible? Yeah, I don't have friends. How tall are you? I am seven foot tall. Oh, bull. He's tall. And you can't teach that. Pie. No. Five foot six. I'm five two on a good day, five three. <laughs> it depends on my bar she's coming out of. Funniest moment throughout school. Oh, that's a good one. What's your funniest moment? Oh, I know her funniest moment. When I was trying to catch her on crutches, <laughs> and she tripped me. I did not. I was on crutches. Did with the Sophia Eccles brain. I did not, guys. It's a lie. And she took me down. His pants got under his foot and no. he slipped. That's the first sign of abuse. She walked in the door. She fell down the steps. Seriously, guys? He stepped on his pants leg and fell in the hallway. Does he look abused? <laughs> he looks pampered and baby to death. No. Because he is. I'm not pampered. You're baby to I'm death. Huggied. I'm huggy. I'm not pampered. I'm huggy. <laughs> My funniest moment throughout school. And he's probably going to die when I tell you guys this. Oh, I have no idea what this. We were we've been high school sweethearts. I was in ninth grade when we first got together. He was in tenth grade, so we were very young. I was fourteen. He was sixteen. And I think it was the end of his no, it was the end of his eleventh grade year. They were having a um. A play, kind of. It was where men dressed up in women's clothes oh. and put makeup and everything on. The oh. teachers, the teachers done it, and so did the students. So he offered to do it. I had a black graduation dress from my eighth grade, and he—that's what he wore. And he had makeup on, and he came out, and it was just so funny, and I died laughing. That is my funniest moment throughout school. I want nice Maybe. legs. I want best legs. <laughs> I, me, want best legs. He loves to make people laugh. Anything he can do to get a laugh, he'll do, and that's excellent. You never said your funniest moment throughout school. My funniest moment. Was that your funniest moment? Uh, what was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? Everything. I done his work for him. Yeah. I done my work and his work. I got a high school diploma. She got a GED. So, my favorite subject in school was math. I loved anything to do with math, which is probably why I'm a couponer today because you have to do a lot of math. But I loved math. My worst subject in school was history. I just thought it was so boring. I could not pay attention to save my life. I had to really work to get an A in that class. So, what is your favorite drink? Coffee. What is your favorite Lots. animal? I don't have one. Yes, you do. No. What's your favorite animal? Probably a pig. Mine's a monkey. Mine's a pig because of the bacon. Mine's a monkey. And we went to the zoo last year, last summer. And it was a monkey in a cage going, what, what, what? 
It was almost like it was hollering water at us. It was so funny. I love my. That's her cousins. That's her siblings. Glad we have siblings to make these. What would you or have you named your children? Our oldest son is Christopher. Our middle one's named Jeremiah. And our youngest one is named Aubrey. Yep. What sports do you play or slash have you played? I've played football and basketball and baseball. I've done cheerleading, volleyball, and soccer. What are some of your favorite YouTubers? Cupano with Tony. Cupano with Tony and Paige Danielle. And Dude Perfect. Because the perfect. If you haven't checked out any of those channels, go check them out, guys. Because they are awesome. Cupano with Tony. Big thumbs up. How many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had? One. That's you. One. Yeah. That's a big lie. She's lying to me. No. We got together very young. And we have stuck it out. This December will make 13 years we've been together. Favorite memory from childhood? Uh, probably the first day I tasted bacon. <laughs> what about getting in your turtles, man? I did like my turtles fan. <laughs> that is a good, good answer. What's your favorite childhood memory? Catching frogs. Loved catching frogs. We <clears> had <throat> a pond in my backyard, and how I wasn't uh, drowned it, I'll never know because I used to crawl in it and catch frogs. You wait and see. Frogs will cause the apocalypse. <laughs> he thinks frogs bite. No, I don't frogs. think. I know. They eat chickens. I've seen it happen. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. They eat chickens. That's God's honest truth. It's happened. <laughs> That's not a lie. They how, eat chickens. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, most of the time I work, so I'm in my work uniform ninety percent of the time. That's it. Or camouflage. Or camo. Yeah. What's your fashion sense? Fashion. Anything different. I like to be different. I don't like to be the same. As you can see, I've got a big money bandana on top of my head. Anything that's got a different design or anything that I just think that nobody else will like, I'll like it. <clears throat> what do you have? An iOS or Android? I don't know what that is. Android. I have it's Android. your phone. We're keeping it real here. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed a Get to Know Me tag. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below. Leave a comment for any other questions you may have that we did not answer because we definitely will answer those. As always, thanks for watching. And a happy Q&A from our home to yours.